This morning, I picked a handful of basilic with a sprig of nono balsam and headed straight for the kitchen. It was time to put on a pot of herbal tea, or bush tea as we in the Caribbean call it. First, I washed the herbs on the running water, then placed them in a saucepan. Then I added water, enough to cover the herbs, and of course, I dropped in two bay leaves in that pot, because I also love the aroma and the flavor. Besides, they make an excellent combination. Anyway, I covered the pot and brought it to a quick boil, like this. Notice the color of the water changed to green, and the color of the leaves faded. Friends, the bush tea is ready. It's screaming out, drink me, drink me. And so I shall. So I strained some into a mug, sweetened to taste. But feel free to drink yours unsweetened if that's your way. I sipped my way to paradise. And after I drained that cup, I realized, oh gosh, I still need to prepare breakfast. So off I go and have a fabulous day, friends. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I remember drinking a lot of basilic bush tea when I was growing up on the island of Dominica. Almost every yard had a plant and there were different variations of this herb. Some leaves were narrow and the bigger ones were called French basilic. This herb had a distinct flavor that I enjoyed. To this day, I cook with it daily. I use it in pasta, on pizza, and I can't stop drinking it. Here in Antigua, it's generally referred to as mint. In any case, this herb is in the mint family.